Okay, start low, start low, start low. Go, let's go, quick. Good, reaching gap, good. Drop, drop, sit, stay low, go, quick, quick, quick. Drop, reaching gap, good. Hey, his footwork's actually pretty good. Okay, and you can keep going like that till I'm of the mindset. Probably be like a 15 second thing, 10 second thing. Whole team, so give me three people in that line. Let's go three, quick, quick, quick. So if it's a team situation here, and here's the, here's the, obviously, the challenge for you as a coach, to decide the difference between a team intensity drill and maximizing time on task. Because if I put four people in this line, I'm going to reduce the number of reps they get. But I might increase the team accountability. As soon as Pat leaves, this next player should be here like this, ready to go. But instead, progressively you find is they start farther and farther out of bounds. Well, that makes your practices more efficient and effective. Is getting your players to be the next repetition. Preparing them to be the next repetition. You know, it may seem like common sense to you watching it now. It's not. It's something that has to be taught. Something that has to be taught. Okay, so I have to teach them what is the next rep. Okay? 